Welcome everybody here on Twitch Chats and everybody on YouTube if you're watching this video later on over there. For some more Esper Legends, we're going to go back to the ranked queues. Try our luck over there. As you can see for our, from our stream today, we started with a nice 5-0 with Demir Discard, but we've been having some real mana troubles with our last four matches and gone 0-2 in the last couple. So let's we're moving back to Esper Legends. <clears throat> Hopefully we can turn this around. This is a really strong deck that we've been having some good success with the last couple of times we played it. Uh, we played it at the end of last week, and I think we went 5-1, and one, I believe, with the deck the last time we played this over in the ranked queues. Something, something close to that. So basically, if you haven't really seen this deck before, basically we're, we are very similar to Esper Control, but we're, we're more, more on the mid-range scale uh, than just hard control. We have a lot of sweet legendary creatures, in here as well. None cooler than Wrath Capacitor that uh, gives all of our historic spells flash. And that's basically all of our spells are historic uh, for the most part. Like basically these these ones down here are the only ones that are not. Discovery, the Thought Erasures, the Cast Down. Um, the reason why we're playing so many of these kind of weird-ish legendary creatures is because we're trying to turn on our two legendary sorceries. We got Urza's Ruinous Blast, which exiles all non-land permanents that aren't legendary and we have Yogmoss vile offering that basically allows us to ravenous chupacabra um some some stuff while putting in a planeswalker or a creature from any graveyard onto the battlefield it is very strong as well both of these as you can tell by the black text box on the right though both of them do require a legendary creature or planeswalker on the battlefield in order to cast so we got to have a deck filled with legendary creatures and planeswalkers. That's that's what we got here. Um, but there's just a lot of good, strong cards here uh, in the deck. Uh, we have, of course, all of our duresses and negates uh, to go along with these for other control matchups. Uh, more Urza's Ruinous Blast if we were playing against like Soul Tie, where they just have tons of creatures that are not legendary that we want to exile. And that's what we got. All right, so. Let's head on over there. Let's play some games. Let's let's change our let's change our avatar also. Let's go to Kaya. The crueler the opponent. Oh, really? It wasn't helping us out. All right. So earlier this week we started at gold. We got through gold. We're now at platinum. Let's see how far we can get through platinum now. Um, playing over here. Just started doing the rank stuff last or er, this past week. So. Haven't, <clears throat> we're not too far into the rank stuff yet. Yeah, thanks, Boot, right there. Uh, Jackson, you can get the deck list right there. <laughs> cool, Night Owl, you played against us for Legends Day? Nice. Yeah, if we get to the 20 subs, we're not... So basically... Uh, if you, so Kaikulamu, you may see, like, in the info panel, uh, there is some information about the sub battles, which I could, I could put here on the screen for just a second also. But it's whenever we hit 15 sub goals is when we're doing the next sub battle. Right now we're at 10, so we need five more. Um, I clicked best of one ranked. We're doing best of one right now. That's not good. That's not good. Well, do I want to keep this in best of one queue? I would not... I don't think I would keep this normally, but we go first, and Shalai is really good against Mono Red. We do have that. Shalai doesn't win on, on her own, though. Yeah, so basically, whenever we get five more of these goals is whenever we'll be uh, then doing the next sub-battle stream. I guess that's to finish that up, so. All right, we're playing tokens. It's going to be difficult to beat any of these cards. Um, I'm going to get rid of Amara. I 
And then history next turn. play Izareth next turn. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna play the size of Earth. Good blocker. Three three. We got a two two one and a one one. And I'm, I'm likely going to be mortifying this Legion's Landing. We have the extra mana to pay for it. So we're good there. Need to draw this land for the Dawnbringer. Oh, wow. That's a great card. All right, well, let's go to best best of three now. <laughs> Good thing that we're already at the lowest rank, so we don't have to worry about lo losing any rank. Traditional rank. There we go. All right. Lost nothing. Starting over. That was the warm up. Gotta get that warm up in there. And here we go. Here's where the real video starts. <laughs> or where the our real matches start. All right, as Canton 2 will help us hit land drops. It doesn't seem like we switched over to the best of three. <laughs> we still got mono red. So I would like to keep the land, thank you. And let's go with Kaya, exile this lava runner. I can get rid of anything, living or dead. You know, basically just three mana removal that also gains a couple life. Because you know they gotta send two points over a Kaya. So it's we basically just had moment of craving there. The five color gates deck. You I don't know that deck too well. I know, like, like there's four color gates. I think. I don't really know of five color gates. Um, but four color gates is pretty good. That's a desperate frenzy, or just like a. I don't know. It's a really early frenzy.
They likely have another frenzy in hand. I think that's that's probably what that means. You were silent, obedient perfection. Um, so we're playing the Tezzeret. Uh, that was the worst possible scenario. Chain roller there. Shot. Playing the Tezzeret to hopefully have Tezzeret survive, be able to vial offering. Uh, you may notice that I played a, I played an Azkanta. I just threw an Azkanta out, uh, just to get a card in the graveyard, basically. Teferi Tuck Steamkin doesn't really like Teferi's likely dead if you if you just go Teferi minus. It's likely going to die with an with an experimental frenzy out. Like there's likely something that's dealing a damage somewhere. This was a good frenzy. Double light up the stage, chain whirler, double lava runner. This is a good frenzy. Cease this nonsense. So yeah, I guess I should have tucked the Steamkin. Guess we should have done that. All right, we got these Moment of Cravings, a Cryler Carnarium, some Mortifies. Get rid of those. Get rid of the Blasts. I know, getting rid of one Blast at least. All right, so I kind of want to play these Negates. Where would I fit in Negates? I play them over Karns, over Teferis. So I only drop one Teferi. Get rid of this Tezzeret too. There's two Negates. Yeah, we could play Duress instead of Thought Erasure. For sure. I think I want Thought Erasure. Though. Karn's, like, not that good. It just kind of costs a lot. Or, like, it, it just has a lot of loyalty kind of thing. I'll try this. All right, this this can uh, do some good stuff. We get another land. We need another white source in particular for this extra Dawnbringer. We can do some good stuff here. Nice. Just deals it to the permanent player, okay. <clears throat> so they cannot deal damage to like Akaya, for example. <laughs> Sometimes burying them just isn't suffer. good enough. You better watch your back from here on out. All 
All right, let's get the Shalai in play. And then uh, Lyra. And that should be game. All right, game three. I don't think they could have something that could kill the Shalai. Can Frenzy do anything? Guess not. Yeah, Wrath Compassion is really underrated. That card's awesome. I'm going to cut an Ascanta for an extra negate. I could make it difficult to hit land drops. Actually, I want this other discovery in here. All right, then cutting a Karn. I want the discovery is like something that can dig uh, pretty far for, you know, cheap mana, you know, only two mana. Uh, I can dig towards Shalai and Lyra and stuff like that. Steamkin, really scary. They're both Discovery and Search Rose Kanta are both digging. Might as well just get Search Rose Kanta in play right now. Because Discovery is a lot better later on in the game than Search Rose Kanta is. Search Rose Kanta is a lot better on turn two. Isn't looking so great for us. So if they bane fire us for three and then attack for four, means we're down to six. We need lands. Alright, there's a land. different options. Whether we play Kaya or Wrath Compassion, we're, we're, we're going to be at four after combat either way. Like, a, if they want. So, like, if they have if they have four points of burden in their hand, we're dead whether we play Wrath or Kaya. Whether we tick up Kaya, minus Kaya, play Wrath and block, no matter what we do, if they have four points of burden in hand, we're dead. Thinking, but my thinking of playing Raph first is it does allow me to like play Kaya plus Thought Erasure. Like basically, if Raph works, we can play Kaya plus Thought Erasure the following turn. So I was going for the high upside play of, of that. That was a good game, though. Opponent just had a, a really, really solid hand there on the play, that game three. So, 0-1. Um, 
Is Frenzy too strong in Mono Red? Uh, it is completely ridiculous of a card, but Mono Red would really, really struggle without Frenzy these days. They just, there's a lot of, you know, random wife gain and stuff, and I don't know. I don't really mind. I don't really mind it. I don't mind playing against Mono Red. I think when, I think overall, whenever like the like when a deck like Mono Red is good, it's good for the format. Because if if a deck if a deck like Mono Red is not good, then it's just Ooh, going to be. Fight. Pack your bags. Then it's really hard to play. Like non control decks kind of thing, then then you're just basically at like, um, you know, control and combo. It's it's really hard to play mid range in a format where ag where there's not any kind of good aggro. I will defend my well chosen. Alright, so it's ticking up. And <clears throat> not exiling my own cards from my own graveyard, of course, because we got this as Kanta that we're gonna want to flip. Gave me to fairy. What was the other card? Thought erasure. I would rather I would could tuck Seraph here. Interesting. For my, you need to slow down. I hope you've said your goodbyes already. Well, this kind of game Kaya is doing actual nothing. That's that's a good card to see off the Ascanta right there. That's a really good one there. Because now we get to Vile Offering, put the Dawnbringer into play, quickly. kill the Doom Whisperer. The Ravenous Chupa Bringer. And now if they start surveilling, we get to actually have some stuff to exile with Kaya. Yeah, it's it's still in beta. It hasn't been in beta for open beta has not been a year. Open beta has been since Guilds of Ravnica released which was last fall so that's like um basically last like beginning of october is whenever it um good choice yeah so like basically like beginning of october is whenever um open beta for arena I hope you said your goodbyes already. Was released. It's kind of unfortunate. It'd be good to be able to play our land to continue hitting land drops. But with like that disinformation campaign in hand. I want to keep the land to discard. Yeah, closed beta, it's probably been a, around a year since closed beta. Mm -hmm. 
What was lost is now returned. Bell haunt the scariest thing. It's either Bell haunt or Seraph. Um. <clears throat> I'll just take the bell haunt because that's like a two for one. Now it's dearly departed. I don't think we really need to save Let's Escanta. I think we're okay. We're about to have five planeswalkers in play. Next turn. Yeah, Avengers, assemble! <laughs> yeah, you thought we were looking at our own hand? <laughs> That's what it seemed like. They only have three cards in exile right now, so Kaya's ultimate's not not doing a ton. Yeah, this this would not be a good battlefield to have against an elder spell. Alright. I know, Elder Spell is going to ruin so many of my Jank Planeswalker decks, too. I know the feeling. So they're playing like an Esper mid range deck. Is it Hero of Precinct One? Thief of Sanity, like that kind of stuff? Is that is that what our opponent's doing? They're probably doing that kind of stuff. So do we want these extra ruinous blasts in here? I'm saying no, they're not doing that? Kaya's definitely out. We saw that game. Kaya didn't do anything that whole game. Uh, Dovin can go. And do I want Cry or Moment of Craving? Or Duress or Negate? Oh, they had Doom Whisperer, didn't they? Hmm. Alright, have a good night, King Toll. I'm gonna play this here duress. So get him. All right, can our opponent beat five drop tribal? We got five fives. That, that thing doesn't cost five. What are we supposed to do with that? They are a hero precinct one deck. Thought so. Ugh.
All right, hoping we draw land. Really hoping we draw land. Yeah, I think the legendary sorceries will be better with War of the Spark. Yeah. Disinformation campaign is a really underrated card. So far, it's it's gotten rid of two really powerful cards. It's drawn them two cards, and it's still just going to keep doing that. It's a really, really underrated card here. Card's quite good. So we have the Shalai available if there's some kind of targeted removal on Raph. If, you know, if not, of course, we have the Blast. So now at least we do get to get rid of that disinformation campaign as well. So that's good. Um... Bad news, of course, is they still have five cards in hand. That's the bad news, because technically we only actually got rid of two cards of that Ruinous Blast. Disinformation Campaign crushed our hand, gained them a bunch of cards. So I didn't want to wait for, and let them untap and let them just have a counter spell. Just because we could cast it at instant speed doesn't mean we need to. All right, down goes Shalai. That's annoying. I think they should have waited. I think they should like attack, and then I play my Dawnbringer, and then they do that. I th I think unless I don't know. I mean, I guess they just have another removal spell for Dawnbringer, of course. But you know, Dawnbringer is a lot more important than Raph is. Well, it's certainly a good dispersal, you know, like that that really did mess me up, of course. Um, I'm not sure if that's the best it could be, though. So, good thing, because we got a couple hits in. I guess it really only one attack, but at least, at least they're not at 20, being able to surveil as much as they want.
Well, that card is not fair. Yeah, your artifact. I don't get to activate any of my planeswalkers. Um, it is a, it's a legendary artifact, also, so my ruinous blast doesn't get rid of that. Uh, so I, I basically don't have anything for that. So if they if they can answer my Dawnbringer in July here, I'm gonna lose. Um, it's it's all about these two cards for me right now. I mean, I could I could draw ruinous blast and get rid of these seraphs though and kill them. So yeah, Urza's ruinous blast still. Helps me get there. And I can't... I can't really attack because the double block does kill my Dawnbringer. Unfortunately, our, our other Shalai was exiled, because that'd be great to have double Shalai, because double Shalai just gives everything hexproof. But our other, our other one was exiled, though. You can't mortify artifacts. So, could not kill the Immortal Sun. Keep forgetting that. Don't play artifacts. <laughs> yeah. We're talking about why not? Like, I am planning on making. So yes, I am planning on making Lazav Shalai. I was hoping they would, they're going to use. I'm hoping for them to use a removal spell on Dawnbringer first. Jeez. Looks like we may need a little bit more life. Alright, so block that thing, block this thing. Take 14, but gain 9. Could really use Urza's Ruinous Blast still. Izereth's interesting. If we attack with Izereth, we can bring back Shalai, and then we can have the double Shalai Lyra combo. But. Don't think we're going to be able to actually do that, though. That's too, too slow. I'm 
Just throw this Teferi out there, I guess. Nothing else to do. Right on schedule. No, before, we could have put our opponent down to one by attacking. We could have traded... Yeah, like, we could have... Because we... Like, whenever we had our 5-5, five, five, our 4-5... Um, Seraph and the Wrath Capacion, the Lazav that was the Wrath Capacion, they were at four. If we attack with all those, they would just block the four... They would have blocked the 4-5 and the 5-5 five, five with their 5-4 Seraphs. So we would, have, we would have traded our Shalai for their two Seraphs and put them down to one. And then with their two Seraphs being dead, then they would have a bunch of these two, two, a bunch of the two twos. Um, I really didn't want to kill my Shalai. Like I, I wanted the Shalai there to help protect the Dawnbringer at the time. And I didn't really to have a bunch of two twos. We just kind of needed to draw a Runus Blast either way. Oh yeah, I'm prepared for War of the Spark. Can't wait. Have some good deck ideas that we were, that we were talking about during the uh, set set review that we did this weekend. Yeah, I don't know why they weren't attacking with their Dawnbringer, but oh well. All right, so. Uh, this looks really bad for us. <laughs> Immortal Sun? Talk about a card I can't beat. I guess I have a Dispersal. Alright, so I have some Dispersals. That's like my only thing. Alright, maybe play Mortifies instead of Cast Down because they have like Lyra Dawnbringer. Let's play... Maybe play some Negates. Oh, we have... We do have Vile Offering also. Okay, yeah, let's get some of these negates in here. Disinformation campaign just really wrecked us that game. I don't know what just happened there. My game just kind of crashed. Is anybody else playing Arena that their game just crashed? No, we don't. We don't need to play Cry of the Carnarium to try to deal with Hero of Precinct one tokens. That's just not. That's just not where we need to be. I mean, we have we have four Urza's Ruinous Blast that exiles all. Um, you know, we have four of these things that exile everything. That's that's good enough. Yours just went down, but then somebody else's is fine. Huh. Well, we don't have our, our sleeves anymore now. That could hurt us, not having those sleeves. Now the color is all bright. Color is kind of washed.
I don't know. Maybe I should just let that be. And because disinformation campaign here, I really want to negate. I don't know. My hand's just real bad. I doubt we are going to be one in this one. Put the Teferi in the graveyard uh, since we don't have the mana for Teferi right now. If we just draw a Teferi next turn, we're not going to be able to play it anyway. But Vile Offering can, can grab Teferi back. If need be. All right, still got to ferry. Trust me, you'll thank me later. You know what? I'm not done yet. These afterlife tokens are a little annoying, of course, but we got negate available. Yeah. Yeah, we may have a little bit of a shorter stream day today. Last couple days have been Long, especially yesterday. Stop that. Now. We need to move quickly. This one, even if we lose this game, I'm not planning on this being the last match here for Esper Legends. Monkey, thank you so much for the Twitch Prime sub. Sub number 18 on the day. Well, at least we got a block in. Time for plan B. I love you, T-Rex. Hold that thought. Unfortunately, don't have don't have anything really to do here. I mean, I obviously I could play Teferi and tuck Thief of Sanity, but then the new Teferi is dead, and it's just like, what's the point? Enough. Oh, thank you, Sock Monkey. So I got rid of two more lands. That's good for us. Maybe that's another land over there. Who knows? Ooh, there's a good card. Okay. Keep up the pace. We are now keeping pace. That resolved pretty quickly. I don't think this as Kant is going to get countered. Let's go ahead and play that too. Yeah, even there with just yeah, they'd even have to put that one on full control with me just targeting the wrath and paying the four mana for the activation. They could have. I just want these negates. No time for a break. I 
they could have just contempted my Lazav before it even gained flying or anything without I without full control. Choice. I don't coach right now, no. Um, no, yeah, basically, I spend all, all my time that I would be coaching and everything streaming. So, I, you know, I stream a lot every day. And at times I'm not streaming, I'm kind of like resting up. I don't have a, a great suggestion for the coaching, though, either. I'm s sorry about that. All right, one and one. All right, we get a pack after that slog through of a match. And we're getting our 20 gems. All right, one and one. We won the long drawn out Esper mirror, the Esper mid range mirror. Couple mid range decks. Okay, let me get this band tokens up on YouTube. I just have to click that, click that, and click this. Okay. Simic Gilgate. This is the struts. Could have been me. Harpooner, I was not expecting that after the Simic Gilgate. I was thinking we were playing playing against Gates, but it looks like we're playing against a Simic deck. You know, just like a, a mid-rangey deck. What we got over here? Elf? Ah, it's blue-green elf deck. Like the blue-green aggro with like, yeah, departed deck hand and stuff like that. Um... This is kind of annoying. Deck, Deckhand and Frilled Mystic are both pretty annoying here. Um, taking the Frilled Mystic. I don't think I can really afford one of my Angels countered. And... I guess I'm kind of dead. I guess maybe I need to take Steel Leaf. Well, at least we scared our opponent. We scared them into not playing the other Steel Leaf champion. That's good. They were just thinking that we we're going to Kaiser Wrath since I took the Frilled Mystic. And right now I'm just looking for... Looking for Urza's Ruinous Blast. I mean, you said, yeah, they let us live for no reason. They're basically... Like, the reason is... Kai's Wrath. You know, like, they were just scared of Kai's Wrath. We wanted to play around Kai's Wrath, but we <laughs> we had definitely the thing to punish them. That's 
the strength of of Kai, like how good Kaiserath is, just saved us this game. So if they would have played their Steel Leaf champion, then I would have had to chump with Shalai on one of their Steel Leaf champions, and then we would have taken eight and gone to one, and then the next turn we would have blocked, played Dawnbringer, blocked a Steel Leaf, and taken eight and gone to negative amounts. So we would have would have died. Yeah, I bet our opponent's really frustrated. Zealous, thank you so much for the second month in a row with that sub. Bringing the hype to the channel. Thank you so much, Zealous, for that continued support. Sub number 19 on the day. One away from that next sub goal. All right, more blast. More Mortify, more Moment of Craving, less, less what? Less Dovin, Kaya, I need to cut some fives, let's cut a Tezzeret, and there we go, Zen Stream! It's been a fun three months. Thank you so much, Zen Streams. And chillin' on. Chillin' on. Chillin' on. With the three months as well. Getting towards our next one. Yeah, I can see Teferi just two. I like that. Just go with the two Teferi, and uh, what's our last card? Maybe just play one moment of Graving. Just one moment. There we go. Sub train. Um, I don't think I'm going to play another deck today, but I think I'm going to play this deck for like another, another good, you know, three, four, five matches. Um, you know, so probably like another hour or so. Started that substorm. Spintery! Or maybe just Spinter. Thanks, Spinter. Keep these hype boats here in the chat. Thanks. Thank you so much, Spinter. Alright, so I'm this hand is not good, of course. But I'm keeping it because of how good. Blast is. Uh, we we need to just draw. We need to draw any legend that costs four or less, basically. Which that's a, a lot of cards in our deck, right? So we have a lot of good draws here that we can just draw some kind of legend that costs four or less, play them, and then on turn five we have this Urza's Ruinous Blast. Um, and that's that's a good plan. Thankfully, our opponent's hand is pretty slow here. Uh, question. Thoughts on Angel decks in the current metagame? Started Magic and I'm unsure whether to grab cards for them or not. So while I, I like my Orzhov Angels deck in this in this metagame. Alright, so if they're obviously they're not attacking with their land war elves. They they really want to use that land war elves. I'm gonna just kill it then. Um Okay, let's see. Let's go with this. Everything costs five. So the thing is, though, okay, so in just four days, our metagame is going to be changing, and and it may not be the best in, in four days, because uh, we're going to have War of Spark is out on Arena, and things are going to change. So basically what I'm saying here is you may want to wait until then. If you're, like, not sure kind of thing. 
Maybe better just waiting. So yeah, it looks like we're, we're probably dead if this is Frilled Mystic. You know, shocking in here, this is likely Frilled Mystic. Ooh, no Frilled Mystic. Could just be... Maybe our opponent just has Negate. Maybe they just have Creature Removal. Yeah, Fibblethip, I think we'll... Yeah, like, I don't know about, like, significantly improve, like, this deck. But I'm, ex I'm excited to play it in just a lot of... In just a lot of spots. Just a, a wide variety of spots. I'm excited to play some Fibblethip. Yeah, our, our opponent definitely has Negate. Definitely have Negate over there. But the problem is we can't do anything about it. I can't just play Lazav. Because Departed Deckhand makes the Nullhide Ferox unblockable the next turn. So I just have to run this out. Oh, can't negate because of Null Hide. Can't negate because of Null Hide. Heck yeah. Arbor Crypt, getting that gifted sub. Thank you so much, Santa Sock Monkey. Well, I was going to be doing that anyway because I was like, well, we're going to have to because we, we have no choice being at two. But then, yeah, y'all are right. It's going to work out anyway. Thanks, thankfully, Null Hide Ferox. Wild animals are draw and fire. Yeah, they could have spent they could have kept their extra mana up. I they did not need to, you know, play like that Pelt Collector or, or whatever. Or, you know, even the departed deck hand. Well maybe they need the deck hand. But if they just played deck hand, didn't they have enough? No, maybe they didn't have quite enough. Do you think our opponent's going to attack into this Lazav? I feel like they are. I feel like my, my opponent's attacking here. Nobody knows what Lazav does. There's too much text on that card. Nobody knows what that card does. They're definitely attacking. Oh no, they didn't attack. <laughs> I thought they were attacking for sure. Let's skip to the good part. I did not tap my mana very well. With that July, so we didn't get to actually play Izareth. I wanted to be able to play Izareth also with Shalai. So Vivian kills Shalai. Let's tear this place apart. But we still have Lazav Sometimes here. Sometimes restoration means retribution. Oh, if y'all think that was awesome. No time for a break. All right, so Harpooner should block this. All right, so going end step. Because I, I so I played Raph, even though Raph has Flash. I played it early because we need the the man enough mana to be able to do both of these. All right, let's get Lyra Dawnbringer into play, so we can have double Lyra Dawnbringer. Yeah, double Lyra. Play that at end, end step, flashing in a Lyra. To go with our other Lyra. And yeah, they both pump each other, so they were both going to be 6-6s. Six so 
So that's pretty sweet. You don't see that every day. <laughs> All right, Mitch, and take care. Thanks to the Demir discard deck. That was that was a fun one. And our opponent is a gold hater. So I <laughs> we're in like the platinum level there so they're a gold hater. Do you think like when they level up and go to diamond they're going to be a platinum hater? Oh, don't spell pierce this. Whew, that would've been rude. <laughs> oh, Mitch is already back. Do you think Abzian control can be good now? Possibly. It gets a lot of things. I wish I had the mana. I actually like Kaya here. Ugh. Double Wilderness Reclamation. Tilt. Could just take the Sinister Sabotage, I suppose. Nah. Whoa, Sleuth br bringing a bunch of hype. Gifted out five subs. Yeah, let's get some more hype in this channel. Get your hype boats out there. Thank you so much, Sleuths. Uh, Trongan, NSPS, Wormed, Philly Cheese. Uh, I could use some. I could use a Philly Cheese steak right about now. And Vimes. Sleuths showing the love. We are now only two subs away from another sub goal. Attack! Everything good over here? No. Not creature wise. Um. <clears throat> yeah, that's yeah, me and Hawkeye on the boat in the sub animation. <laughs> Did you see that CFB had single combat in their top five cards for standard? I did not. I don't remember which one single combat was. Another Wilderness Reclamation? Didn't I already take one of those? I did. Why are there more of those? Thank you, Sleuths. Well, good thing we played the Vile Offering and not the Real Teferi last turn. I won't hide from you know what? I'm not done yet. Oh man. That could be a great card if we if we're able to cast this blast. That could be great. We'll see if we get to or not. Because, you know, they just have uh, <clears throat> Omniscience out right now. They just have infinite mana. So, not likely that we get to. Yeah, so they have three as can't activations. I think we can scoop this up. Oh, it looks like they just have explosion anyway.
Alright, let's try again. Alright, all the negates, all the duresses, more mortifies, less cast down, less vile offering, less dovin. Um, Runus Blast is like. I don't know. It can be good at times, you know, like at a couple of wilderness reclamations like we saw there. I don't think we need Lazav. Such a high curve now. Get rid of Lyra. Get Lazav back. We basically don't really have ways to win. That's okay. We got a high curve here. We ha actually haven't been really playing much Boros aggro. Recently. Let's go and do it. Double Ascanta? Uh, why can't you just have one Ascanta? <laughs> All good. Yeah, I will. So, yeah, I like the, the Esper taking turns deck. I think it is pretty strong. The day that we played it, it did not do well for us. Um. But I like it quite a bit. I, I play that deck uh, some off stream, and Didn't see a door. I, I, I like playing it. Um, it's fun to play, and and everything. So yeah, try it out. That's so what we got. Espa planeswalkers here, basically. I advise that you yield. Something vanished. Funny, that's what I do. They they miss a land drop still? Pass turn. Ooh. All right, no lands. Yeah, there's there's a couple of times where I'll play off stream, you know, like it's usually usually not not at night after streaming, but like in the morning. Sometimes I'll uh you know, maybe like have a deck idea that I want to just like play a couple games with it to see how it goes or, you know, something like that. <clears throat> All right, so they have expansion. Expansion can copy my duress or copy my negate. Both of those annoying, but I I think I just want to take the Wilderness Reclamation and just try to always take Wilderness Reclamations. Take as many of those as possible. Always get that card out of here. Right now we're playing ranked, and you can tell by these little rank things. All right, so I duress, the expansion, I negate, and now we take Nexus, or do you have a Wilderness Reclamation right there for me to take? Nope, Nexus. <clears throat> Minister, I've been gone for over a year. What is the current legend rule? You, um, I guess the, the current legend rule is you can have, uh, both players can have the same legendary permanent out. And you can have multiple, you can have like multiple legendary Karns in play on one side of the battlefield also, but they have to be different named. So you can play like, um, so 
So you can have like Karn Scion of Urza plus Karn something else. You can have both of those in play. What was lost is now returned. Let's slow this down. I'm not ready for this quite yet. Right now, we have an Ask Kanta trigger that allows us to look at our top card of our library and see if we want to put it in the graveyard or not. I think I like Kaya. No. We need to find some answer for like this jade light that's coming up. Hold that thought. Yeah, got a new Kaya. You may regret that choice. There's an answer. I'm pretty tempted just to negate this chemist's insight and prevent. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna just get the two for one. Like, don't let them draw two. Don't let them draw Jade Light Ranger this next turn, so I get another turn of activating. Yeah, I think that's that's really good. We are full on Esper control on this one. Nothing is ever truly lost. I'm just gonna grab this just to have it. Dispelling phantasms makes me feel good. I'm sorry, was that dear to you? Oh yeah, opponent's way behind now. We are looking good. I want to Ruinous Blast that away, not Mortify, because I want to save the Mortify for Wilderness Reclamation. Or really, as, as Kanta also. Wow, they are putting both of those out there when they know about our Ruinous Blast. Check out those Izerats at the bottom of my library. All right, three and one. And we are, we are ranking up. Right, ranking up. Ugh. Esper Legends doing its thing. Thanks, three man. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Urza's Runus Blast is so good it exiles the opponent, too. They are exiled as well. That opponent was not legendary, so exile. It's a good looking hand. Snubby. Oh, what a card. That is our best card against Mono White. All right, we gotta hit two land drops. All right, chat, give me two land drops. Come on, chat, two land drops. We got one, one more land drop. Um, I could beat history. <clears throat> Alright, how is this going to work? They play history. Hmm, this history is going to trigger before. I guess I just take the history. Uh, I guess I need this land drop. Uh, Zach, Thursday, Ferret, no.
Wow, they are flooding out. I don't even need to really use this Ruinous Blast. I mean, I guess I gotta get rid of this Vanguard, though. I want them to draw, like, more permanents, like, play a bunch more things, so our, our Exile's even better. But we do need to get rid of this Vanguard, so we just gotta kinda use it. There you go. Good. Drew something. Play another thing. Go ahead. Go on, you have nine permanents. Yeah, got to get that tenth permanent out there. Whoa. So that's heroic reinforcements, I guess. They're tapping these things. Got to be heroic reinforcements. That's what it's got to be for, right? Uh, a Johnny. No friend of seeing yourself what oh. I see in They could have sacked the bodyguard at least. Let's get that thing out of here. Uh, there's the heroic reinforcements. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, any any historic spell, in including those legendary Show sorceries, gets to do those at instant speed. It is pretty sweet. Oh, baby. I'm gonna sit back for, you know, sit, sit back here for a turn. Urza's Ruinous Blast Keep is so good. All right, they're at five. Just two attacks from the RAF. All right. Man, RAF combat, or like Urza's Ruinous Blast, instant speed. That is disgusting. It's disgustingly good. So good. <laughs> My opponent's playing so many non-legendaries. <laughs> Thanks, three man. All right, what else do we want to do over here? I want Dovin. I kind of feel like I want Teferi, or sorry, Tezzeret. I think I want Tezzeret. Maybe we don't need all these thought erasures. Kaya is usually pretty good in this matchup. Do we need all these mortifies? Maybe not. I can trim it as Kanta. Because we are playing, there's a time limit here because we are playing a match against somebody else. We can't just, just take forever and have them sit there forever.
Okay, there we go. DJ Polly B, six months already. Where's my hype boats? Where are they at? Oh, my, my hype boats went away. This happened last time. I got foil hype boats. Okay, never mind. We got foil ones. Foil hype boats still. Remember that happened to me before with my, um, like, with just my high emote just, like, went away for a little while. Why am I keeping this hand? Oh, yeah, we have Urza's Ruinous Blast. The sand's great. No, not not about Mox Amber, because by the time you actually play your legendaries is, like, really late in the game, and at that point, you, d you just don't need the Mox Amber. It's too hard for Mox Amber to actually do stuff. And, like, most of the time, it'll just be, like, a dead card in your hand. They may counter every single card we play. Who knows? Maybe this is a Delver deck. They just have turn one Delver, and then they're just going to counter everything. The Disdainful Stroke? Alright, no Disdainful Stroke. Hmm. Victory! Okay, we're on a roll. Four and one. Yeah, this is Esper Legends. And Ryu, thank you so much for like those those purchases. I did get credit for all five. So yeah, so that was awesome. Um, you know, all five of your quick purchases, which I I need to actually mark them down now. I want to to double check with them, make sure. And yeah, how you purchased the five. So yeah, we're actually up to 39 purchases now on Quip. We're actually one person getting a Quip toothbrush away from another 12-hour stream. Um, which I, I just got that message during this stream today. Uh, 40 minutes ago. So. Hey, Firin, thank you so much for that Twitch Prime sub. Oh, I don't have... I got my foil hype boats. There we go. Foil hype... That means you get five donation decks whenever you want. You got them in the bank. Queued up. Uh, let's... We do have a lot of lands. Combination of colors you think is going to be better? Um, yeah, es Esper is looking good. Yeah, I mean, es Esper is gaining a lot. Uh, they could Their deck may change a lot. Um, but just kind of blue decks in general look pretty good. Should have kept the first one. Can I just go back and keep that first hand again? On the play, there's no chance that I keep that other seven. But on the draw, I kind of wanted to. Oh yeah, Lear Dawnbringer, great. Um. Dun dun. So if y'all don't know about Quip, Quip, as we're you know. Uh, saying here as we've gotten 39 signups through Quip so far. Quip is a really, really nice toothbrush. It is the last toothbrush you'll ever have to get in your life. Um, it's just a, it's an electric toothbrush made by Dentist. Soft Sonic Vibrations. If you place an order with Quip, you also get a free donation deck. If you want your deck played on stream, like earlier, uh, we had your discard played. If you want your deck played on stream, uh, you can get your get a twip, get a quip toothbrush, have it played on stream, and help support the stream as well. All 
Right, well, that was a, a big mess there on that Mold of Five. Wish we would have kept the first one, but it looks like we're playing against some kind of green creature deck where we want these Ruinous Blast, Moment of Cravings, Mortify, Cut, a Teferi, and a Tezzi, and a Dovin, and a Kaya, and the two Karns. This, this discovery. Maybe don't play Moment of Craving. Yeah, we got to keep our Legend count up for Ruinous Blast. So, um, I'll cut. Maybe I just cut the two Cravings. Yeah. Dun, dun, dun. Yeah, I'm doing. I'm just doing some rank stuff right now. I'm gonna play for. I'm gonna play a couple more matches. Here with the deck. Same kind of thing that we mulliganed last time. Do we draw our blue mana? Our hand doesn't really do very much without it. At least we have a Mortify. It's more than what we did the previous time. I kind of just want to keep. I don't want to mold a five again. If this is a game one, I'm mulliganing. That last mulligan just left a bad taste in my mouth. Just want to keep it. Correct. B. Uh, yeah, we've these these first three we played through leagues. The Cesper Legends right now is in ranked. Um, I should probably just kill that. That thing's gonna kill me quickly. Esper just means the color combination that you're playing. That's that's what Esper refers to. So it's referring to playing uh, blue, black, and white together. Yeah, Octopi, that's movement makes really nice watches and sunglasses. And yeah, by going through my referral link there, using coupon code TOTSTEAMS MTG, get 15% off your purchase at movement. And you also get a free donation deck if you do, if you'd like to buy a watch from them as well. Hmm. All right, so Izareth can flash in here and trade with something. Get the Steel Leaf Champion out of here. I can have Lazav turn into Izareth. Yeah, Flash Trigger, you're working good. Wrath Compassion does, does its thing. Definitely makes attacking difficult. Uh, we are on flat three now. Hmm. 
Do you think it's better to have a face cam just for the game? Yeah. Yeah, if you're wanting to get into streaming, yeah, it's it's good to have a face cam. Collision Colossus. That card's annoying. Can we find Ruinous Blast? Oh, that's a good one. On cast collision. Uh, they're not going with collision. They're going with Colossus. I was hoping they're going to go with collision. That's the card I wanted. <laughs> oh, poor opponent. They don't even know. Don't even know. Don't even know. How mean that card is. All right, we need to move quickly. All right, so I I do need to sit back because of Gruel Spellbreaker. I can't I can't attack here. Because Spellbreaker, remember, has Hexproof on their turn. No time for a break. <laughs> All right. Well, now we can. Um, I can activate this and still have five mana. Perfect. Over craving in, Kaya out. Ugh. Ugh. Thanks, three man. Oh, that was a good turnaround. That was looking kind of bad for us for a little bit there. So the vial offering, the reason why we could attack there, if you didn't realize that, we were going to have. Um, we're going to have Instant Speed Shalai, uh, because Instant Speed is a Wrath, the Vile Offering was going to be able to put Shalai into play for us. Uh, like a Zoe with the Twitch Prime sub. Uh, hype boats. Ooh, great hand for the opponent. And G Fizzle Joe as well. Fourth month in a row for G Fizzle Joe. Thank you so much, Joe. Thank you, Zoe. Jeez. How do we beat this? We don't. We don't beat this at all. I think our only chance of beating this is or is Ruinous Blast. And we, that's going to happen. We need our Wrath Compassion to be alive. No, I mean, we're just taking lethal before that. Yeah, we just don't beat this. Not with all these lands. <laughs> Thanks, Orhu. Yeah, what do you get for subscribing? You get... Uh, Access to all these really cool emotes that you get to put in the chat. 
and you can use them on anywhere in Twitch. And so it's just a way to help support me as somebody who streams full time. Like this is my um, everyday job. And then you get all those really cool emotes that you get to use too. Yeah, we have we have a, a sub only dis Discord access. Oh yeah, and then we have our our sub battles, where we do those. Um, whenever we do a sub battle day, you get to play against me in the sub battle day. Also. Hello. Yeah, the the foil hypode is the. Uh, I think I want to thought array. What are they gonna do for four mana? I mean, I guess like Jade Light Ranger, is really what we're thinking about here. I'm gonna I'm gonna search Roscanta first. The foil hypode is for the tier three sub, the twenty five dollar a month. Um, yeah, so the goal for the sub battle, and if you if you are a tier three sub, you get a free donation deck each month. Like that's what you get for being a. T um, a tier 3 sub also. Uh, graveyard. I mean, I'm going to need a land, but we'll probably find another land. Okay. Um, so for the goal for the sub battle... Gosh. We're doing it whenever we hit 15 of these sub goals. And we've hit 11 so far. And I'm keeping track of them in the info panel down below. So we're at 11 out of 15 now, which is updated after getting to the 30 for today. This is pretty greedy not keeping this land. Let's just keep it. Hey, Eddie. We're just doing some we're just doing some ranked matches right now, so it's still it's not a new league. Cool. No, uh, Discord. Everybody, uh, everybody can join the Discord right there. If you have your Discord and your Twitch linked, then it'll show you up as a subscriber, and you get to join the and you can be in like the sub only room. Uh, it does, whenever you do link your Twitch and your Discord for the first time, it does take about an hour to link them. Look at all this nature. No land, no land, no land, no land, no land, no land, no land. Crap. Well, I guess it's not lethal, still. Every yeah, like, they can minus and kill my flyer, stronger. and then kill Tezzeret, but it's not lethal, because it's just 7 at me. I would assume they would tick up here. It just seems like tick up's, like, a better play than that. Yeah, You can't good. stop nature. Yeah, sub hype so strong today. 32 wonderful, sweet, clean subscribers today. Uh, let's graveyard that. So we got Carnage Tyrant over here. Give me Carny T, kill this Vivian. Every defeat is a new beginning. It is the ideal subordinate. Um. <clears throat> uh, I don't. I don't think the mastery tree has anything special if you complete it. I am not sure. They added that in after uh, I already had like arena and stuff, so I. I haven't completed it, and I haven't, I haven't really heard from anybody who has, so I, I don't know that. 
for sure. So, Urza's Ruinous Blast. Still like our best card, kind of like always. I think I'm going to just tuck this Krasis. Even though tucking Krasis isn't really advisable most of the time. But we're at five life. Right on schedule. You need to take a time out. A master builds with ease. All right, like as always, no spoilers in here of what's going to happen on on Game of Thrones. I'll be watching that later tonight after the stream, of course. If you want to talk Game of Thrones after the episode, um, like the stuff that happened and all that kind of stuff, uh, we do have a Game of Thrones room in the Discord channel. There's a lot of different... We have a few different rooms there in the Discord channel. Our plan is to add more. We still need to add like the Commander room, the EDH room. Contempt. Where's a ruinous blast? Where's his ruinous blast? To the good part. Okay, that's not so bad. My device is finished, as are you. Is it better to play Dawnbringer here or Karn Minus? Should I Karn Minus or should I Dawnbringer? I think I want a Karn Minus. I don't really want them to contempt my Dawnbringer. Some solutions must be built. Tezzer, it costs nine to, to ultimate. Uh, it was just at eight. We just ticked it up to nine. That's As you can tell, it has nine loyalty now. So we couldn't ult Tez yet. We can ult Tez the next turn now. Uh, yeah, Urban Robin Hood. I don't. I don't. I only do like the only time I play against people is during the sub battle days. Um, if you if you're looking to improve in everything, uh, maybe check out this link here. The level one full course it was written a couple of years ago, but it has a just a ton of really good information about um, playing Magic and getting better and all that kind of stuff. All right, so our our token's gonna die, of course. Is it better to kill a branch walker than the wild growth walker? Like, should I should I block? Should I have the four four block a three two? It's gonna die. All of these are gonna die. Like this, all all of my things are gonna die besides carnage tyrant. But would I rather clear off a branch walker or clear off the wild growth? I guess it's better to clear off the branch walker. And of course, I need to. 
I need to play Wrath at not instant speed so that I can have enough mana because I need to spend the two mana that Teferi untaps. I am playing Lyra here. Lyra now has instant speed. So I'm I'm baiting my opponent into attacking. Yeah, Wrath gives any historic spell you have flash. And historics are any artifact, any kind of legendary thing. There is a legendary and sagas. Looks like we stabilized. You know what? I'm not done yet. What was our other card over here? Watery Grave. Yeah, Flash Lyra. Can't do too much about Flash Lyra. Alright, take out Kaya, Dovin, and Tezzy. I don't know, Tezzy was awesome for us there. Like, Tezzy let us stabilize. Maybe I take out one Teferi. I want to cut a five. A five mana card. That's 12 five mana cards. I don't know which one to cut, though, because they're all so great. Maybe I can cut a discovery. I think drafting is is better than the the fifty pack deal. If you want to just get gems and draft, yeah. If you like drafting, do that. Uh, if if you're just planning on spending money on packs, then the the fifty one's good. Yeah, the fifty pack thing. Does, it comes with one copy of Liliana, uh, Dreadhorde General, and you get the, uh, the the 3D art for Liliana, Dreadhorde General also. Alright, Search for Uskanta, really good card. Keeping this with it, and you know, keeping this hand with Urza's Ruinous Blast. If you like to draft in your terrible at the format, play Sealed. Sealed is. Sealed's a lot kinder on the wallet um, over time. on arena it's it costs a good amount but you you get for for what it costs you're you're getting good value even if you aren't winning like even if you go like o3 you basically break even yeah sealed's not for gold right yeah that's like i'm talking about for like the gems no if you're not good at drafting especially don't do the the expensive draft the two out of three draft that one is like a a high risk, high reward draft. All right, no Vivian. We begin. I made you a gift. Mm 
So this is like the ultimate test. Do they attack me down to one? Or do they kill Tezzeret? They attack me down to one. That's what we wanted. We have a chance. We have a chance. Have a chance. Get these things out of here. Get them out of here. Brilliance comes easily to me. And I'm just going to draw with Tesla right here. I, I don't think making a 1 1 is really that big a deal. Get more cards. Logic will always win. Kind of need more land drops. I kind of, I kind of regret putting that Goblet Shrine in here since we haven't found any land since then. Oh, that was the one card I didn't really want them Let's to play. I didn't really want them to have Land feel Vivian. The wrath of Scala. Annoying. Can we have lands in here? Let's see how you respond to genius. I guess not. I'm known for my excellent not so Get out of here, Vivian. Get out of here. Okay, let's draw some more cards. We need to move quick. There's a land. Um, let's exile these two. Yeah, if you can get, yeah. I know how this ends. Yeah, we have a chance at getting Shalai and. Lazav copying Shalai in play at the same time. We can we can do that. We have a chance. We will meet again. You're still one step behind. Ooh. Um I don't really need a Karn. Next turn. Next turn. Double Shalai. Alright. Finality would still wreck double Shalai, but we're gonna have it next turn. How this thing goes is up to you. That can't help you now. Attack there, attack there. Let's get, we'll have a Shalai have a corpse counter on it too. How, how often do you see corpse counters? And everything hexproof. I'll be back, just like before. Everything hexproof. Yeah, they need finality. Finality could could kill my creatures and everything there. Um, but yeah, they need a finality. If if we would have found a a Lyra Dawnbringer, then you know it would put them above finality, and then they would never be able to do anything. Best win I've seen in ages. Thank you, Ferret. Where's my GG emotes? GGs.
All right, five and two. All right, so that's. I feel like that's a good place, a good place to stop with Esper Legends there. Uh, that was that was a really fun game. Pretty fun league there too. Like this is a strong deck. Like we we usually do really good, um, you know, with this deck. And t tonight was no different. Um, it's just it kind of shows you how like playing weird off the wall cards, like how you get you get some real value playing cards that that your opponents aren't expecting. Um, you know, multiple times with like Lazav, they'll attack into it, not realizing they'll turn into something else. Uh, we had our one of our green opponents, not green stompy opponents, not like they stopped playing out creatures because they're scared of Kaya's Wrath. Um, and then we got to play Shalai into Lyra and just surprise them whenever they're thinking we're Esper Control kind of thing. Um, and yeah, so it was a good league when went five two. Uh, or good good run there in ranked went five two got uh, gained three ranks there and yeah the deck deck did well um, our five mana slot is still just like super super clogged you know like we have so many fives then even with we bring in ours as ruinous blast but I think it's worth it you see just the power of these cards and standards pretty slow whenever you you know we were behind quite a bit but you know we, we were able to catch up quite a bit like Urza's Ruinous Blast all you got to do is untap and blast and there you go yeah so when do I stream my normal stream time is 3 to 10 eastern normally <coughs> sorry 3 to 10 eastern um, each and every day uh, so I do every day here um, but that's it for Esper Legends. Uh, if you're watching the Esper Legends later on on YouTube, uh, don't forget to hit that subscribe button over there. But thanks for watching. And.